This video is designed to show you how to do a calibration check with a reusable turbine, an MIR spirometer, Wind Spiro Pro software, and a 3 liter calibration syringe. In this video, we will be using an MIR mini spear, but the procedure that we will show will be the same for all MIR spirometers. The American Thoracic Society recommends that a calibration check be done daily before using the spirometer. The purpose of doing a calibration check is to verify that the spirometer can measure a known quantity of air at a variety of flow rates. For flow spirometers like the MIR spirometers, we need to check the calibration at three flows, high, medium, and low. Initially, you may experience some poor test results but after a few practice tests, you will determine the correct technique necessary to successfully get accurate results. To do the calibration check, you will need an MIR spirometer, a reusable turbine, a 3-liter calibration syringe, and Winspiro Pro software. Remember that the calibration syringe needs to be sent back to its manufacturer once a year to be checked and recalibrated for accuracy. To begin the calibration check, first insert the reusable turbine into the flow meter and then insert a cardboard mouthpiece into the reusable turbine. Connect the spirometer to your computer via the USB cable provided. If you are using the mini spear like we are in this video, it will power on automatically when it is connected to the computer. The SpiroDock and SpiroBank 2 series will automatically power up when connected and show external control on the screen. The SpiroLab will be covered on a separate video. Connect the flow meter and the turbine to the 3 liter calibration syringe, making sure you have a tight seal so there are no air leaks. Now that you have everything connected, open WinSpiro Pro on your computer. Select the calibration drop-down list at the top of the screen. From the calibration drop-down list, select Perform Calibration Test. This will open the calibration test screen. Below the row of icons on the calibration test screen, you will see the date and time automatically entered. Below the date and time, you will see the Set the Test Target. From the drop-down arrow, select the volume of the syringe you are using. In this video, we are using a 3-liter syringe. To the right of that, you will see the device that is connected with its serial number and firmware version. In the lower right corner, click Restore Default Correction and prepare the syringe by pulling the piston out fully. You may begin the test by pressing the space bar on the computer or clicking the Start icon at the top of the screen. Begin to push the syringe piston in and out smoothly at three different speeds, fast, medium, and slow, until all the bars under the expired flow and inspired flow are green. Be sure to pull and push the syringe piston all the way to the built-in stops in each direction. When all bars are green, the test will stop automatically. We want the results under the new correction factor to be plus or minus 3%. If they are, then you have a successful calibration check and can print out the results and place them in your calibration file. If the results are outside the plus or minus 3% range, then repeat the test for a second time by resetting to default correction and starting the test again. Always check to be sure that you have a tight seal and that no air is leaking at the syringe or the turbine. If the results are still outside of the 3% range again, redo the test for a third time, again checking to be sure you have a tight seal and that no air is leaking at the syringe or the turbine. And be sure to pull and push the syringe piston all the way to the built-in stops in each direction. If you do not get a passing range of plus or minus 3%, contact MIR Customer Support. This completes the procedure for doing a calibration check on an MIR spirometer with the 3 liter syringe. Thank you for your interest in the MIR spirometers. For more information, contact MIR at 844-4-MIR-USA.
or you may visit our website at www.spirometry.com.